And tomorrow could be a make or break day at CES for Faraday Future. The startup electric car company is set to unveil its planned production car in downtown Las Vegas. And 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live with more on what to expect from the car that Faraday put all of its resources into. Yeah, Carla. Well, many companies are at Mandalay Bay showing off their latest gadgets. Faraday Future is going to hold its own private event here at the World Market Center. They've got to hope that people like this year's offering more than last year's. After falling flat at CES last year with its concept car that appeared more suited for a comic book page than the city streets, Faraday Future has been keeping its planned production car under wraps, even while doing testing in California. The company pulling out all the stops for the party to unveil the car they have labeled first of the species. Even with the hype, many are questioning Faraday's future after several top executives left the company over the past few months. After breaking ground in April, the company halted work on its billion dollar North Las Vegas factory, raising questions of whether a car would ever roll off the line. Mayor John Lee reassuring people days after work was halted. We're continuing on. The fact is it's giving us a chance to catch a breath and be able to move ahead at the speed we can move at because we were running at breakneck speed, but I can guarantee you everything's going great with Faraday. The company says the next phase of construction at the Apex site is set to begin early this year, but critics doubt the plant will ever be finished, saying the man bankrolling the company is in trouble. The real reason is he hasn't paid his bills and he hasn't paid his bills because he doesn't have the money. If completed, the factory is expected to employ 4,500 people and possibly generate an additional 9,000 jobs. Many saying the future of Faraday Future may rely on the reaction to the car they unveiled Tuesday. State leaders say the deal approved by lawmakers doesn't give Faraday any tax abatements until they invest a billion dollars at that North Las Vegas site, and they say that... Uh, bonds for the project aren't set to be issued until around September. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.